there's different ways I could describe the season. 2019 Pennsylvania spring turkey, worst. Another one would be 2019 shocking PA spring turkey ends. Well, today's the last day of the Pennsylvania spring turkey season, 2019. It all started back for the first day of April 27th for the statewide Pennsylvania gobbler season. The reason I use these two headlines is the area I hunt in, it's been the was the worst season I've seen in years. Talking with other hunters in this area, my hunting buddy, as for one, he did not hear one gobble all season. He saw hens out in the field as I did, but no gobbling whatsoever. Some other fellows that hunt close to this area Worked a bird twice throughout the whole season and never got it in. It was the only bird for them also. Which, that resembles my season. I heard one gobbler the whole season. Did not see the birds in the field, so I didn't bother setting up blinds as I have in the past and use a crossbow. I instead went with Taking my shotgun, it was easier to carry through the woods and move, etc. But when you're here one bird all season, you don't go running around too much in the area you're at. You sort of concentrate on the area where you heard that bird. And that's what I did. Even though it didn't end in my favor, which is fine. What I'm more upset about or worried about is the lack of gobbling. I saw hens in fields feeding all morning by themselves, single birds, two birds, not a gobble from the gobbler because I was in that area. Unless he had moved somewhere else that day, but I didn't hear him gobbling anywhere in the area. I was up high, I could hear my area. One thing that we have experienced here in my area that I hunt, and maybe some of you had better luck with gobblers, but what we have been seeing is I have not heard a grouse drumming in the spring for probably four years. The Pennsylvania Game Commission has done a study and the grouse have been affected by the West Nile virus, which is carried by mosquitoes. What it has done was the mosquitoes bite the chicks. They end up being infected with West Nile. They die. This year, our Pennsylvania Game Commission picked up around 100 and 80 wild turkey eggs and are testing them on what effect the West Nile virus has on turkey poults at different stages of their life. I'm hoping that it shows something because something has affected our turkey population. Yes, 2018 was the wettest that Pennsylvania has seen in years. Wet weather does not go well with turkey poults. I understand that. But it had a start prior to that, I feel. That it's been, over the past few years, less and less young birds surviving for whatever reason. Yes, we have predators. We have ground predators. We have uh, foxes. We have coyotes. We've had them for years. We've had raptors. We've had the, we have bald eagles. 
We have red tail hawks. We have falcons. Again, we've had them for the past three, four years. I don't feel that is the problem. I feel something else came into play. We have not seen the turkey flocks in the fall as we have seen five years ago, even four years. I started noticing two years ago not seeing the big turkey flocks in the fall. This past fall of 2018, our fall turkey is only one week. It's been that for a couple of years. I did not see a flock of birds, period. After the turkey season was over, which is during archery, towards the end of archery season in November, I saw, watched three or four gobblers one afternoon, acting like it was springtime. They are the only birds I saw all fall. No scratching, no sign. So something's going on, but anyhow, this 2019 Pennsylvania spring turkey, worst that I have ever seen. Please leave your comments on how your season went. Like I said, I know fellas in other counties did have better luck. Herd birds. I know one fella pre-season went to an area. He saw deer. He saw turkeys. He heard gobblers. He went there once the season started, the first Saturday. He saw no deer, no turkeys, heard none, but he saw seven different coyotes based on the markings on the coyotes is how he determined he had seven different ones. And he also ended up having or seeing a bobcat. If you have seven coyotes running in an area, Stuff's going to move out or it's killing the stuff. But like I said, my area, I did see one coyote three times in one day. But I feel there's something else going on. Have a good one. Watch for the next video. Please subscribe. And we'll catch you the next time. So if you want to learn more on DIY hunting projects and crossbow hunting, start today by hitting the round icon subscribe button and you will keep up to date. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.